Okay, I'm going to give Jody at WeldingTipsAndTricks.com a plug again because this is his idea. Practice running beads on aluminium when you want some cheap, quick practice time. Right, because it's uh, it'll work your feed hand, it'll get lots of things going. This one I did ages ago, it doesn't look pretty. You can have fun doing it, you can be creative, you can be intentional, do whatever you want but just get time with the rod in your hand, the torch in your hand, under the hood, and don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Or like, share and subscribe, whichever. Anyway, on the same theme, um, I've got five minutes after work here, and I'm going to practice using my positioner, which we built in the last video, because I'm not very good with it yet. Okay, I started off with something easy, just a round part, I had to weld a few of them. But I'm going to test myself a bit with some aluminium. Um, before I do anything, I'm just letting the cleaning action put me a, a line, a guideline on this aluminium. Um, and that will mean that when I weld, I can turn up the penetration a bit. I won't need so much cleaning action. It's fairly clean plate anyway, but also lets me weld with a... 16th tungsten without without ruining it, without melting it. I've only got 100 odd amps here, so not a problem. I'm just trying desperately to get used to using the, having a dry run there, the amp control on the right foot, the positioner on the left foot, and everything else, the feed hand, left hand, torch hand, right hand. Um, reason I'm going with aluminium here is because you need to use the foot pedal you need to you know back off at the end or when you get near an edge and it concentrates the mind a bit more so I've got all four limbs doing different things here and I'm finding it if I'm honest I'm finding it really challenging I don't know how some people do it um, and this is not going as well as I would like it to but I'm going to show you the results anyway just for kicks. What I need is practice, practice, practice. Um, what I don't get enough of is practice, but it's just one of those things. There's no shortcut to it. Um, I'll show you the results in a in a minute. See the position is just for operated. It's got an old chuck clamp to the top of it there because it makes a useful um, sort of bed. Now it's not pretty as you can see and I'd like to say I'd gone from uh, from bad to better but I think I've gone from bad to slightly less bad. Um, first weld is all lumpy and wrong, first few are all lumpy and wrong, I just couldn't get used to moving the, the foot rather than the torch, it really bugged me. There is an improvement towards the end here. It's not it's not what I'd hoped for at all, but it is an improvement. Um, it looks better like that. The light wasn't doing it any favours there. And the penetration is right through a bit too much of anything on some of them, but this is like uh, a thin bit of aluminium. It's only it's 332nd, I think. So it was always going to penetrate. That's never going to be a problem. So, uh, a few more hours, and that's the thing to do. Get a piece of aluminium. Grab yourself a, a rod, you're cheap. You can weld over and over and over. You can dunk it in water when it gets too hot and carry on. You can put bead on bead on bead. It never gets difficult. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Good night.